Welcome back. Running a small business can be a challenge. That's not news to anyone who has tried. But every business is unique. And as 17's Robert Price explains in tonight's installment of his series, Where We Live, one of the most unique sets of obstacles involves record stores, which have seen tastes and technologies change drastically over the past decades. And yet somehow, one in particular has endured for 40 years. But for how much longer? Here's Robert's report. If you're a music aficionado, chances are good you know that the vinyl record has made a comeback. But can we say the same thing about the record store in this era of COVID-19? One day in early 1982, Scott Schweibel and Pat Evans, 22 and 23, and friends since fourth grade, set out to find a particular record album. An album by the Greg Kinn Band. But they kept striking out. None of Bakersfield's five record stores had it. Their frustration led to a daring and perhaps unwise idea. Open their own record store. Engage a passion and make money doing it. And in June 1982, Evans and Schweibel opened World Records at Columbus and Oswell Streets in East Bakersfield. A fantasy realized, but then reality hit. Harsh reality. Three months after they opened the store, Schweibel was killed in an automobile accident. After four months of uncertainty, Evans decided to press on. It would not be his last challenge. First, the apparent demise of his single most important stock in trade, the vinyl record album. LPs and cassette tapes were out. CDs were in. By the time Evans moved to Southwest Bakersfield in 1992 near Stockdale and Coffee, the store was exclusively CDs. The store was a success. Evans set up listening stations that allowed customers to preview their music before buying. But 16 years later, the music business had changed and Evans had tired of the grind. In 2008, he decided to close up. His daughter, then 14, cried. He reconsidered and instead moved to his third location on G Street downtown. After two years there, he moved to F Street, his fourth location. By this time, vinyl records were back. Customers, including young customers, liked the tactile property of a big black disc inside an artistically colorful sleeve. I'd, I'd ask, especially younger people, hey, how come you buying a, buying a record? And I've had so many of them say, because I can hold my music. Now he was 50-50, records and CDs. This fourth store is special, however. It's not just a record store, it's a concert venue. Behind the racks of vinyl is a 500-seat auditorium where, since 2010, some of the great ones in blues, jazz, bluegrass, and rock have performed. Elvin Bishop, Mavis Staples, Sunvolt, the list is long. For 39 years now, Pat Evans has made it work, changing consumer tastes, evolving consumer technologies. But now a new challenge, COVID-19. Evans, who has almost always been clean-shaven, started growing a beard when his store was shut down in April 2020. He hasn't shaved since. Look at him now. But he's booking shows already into 2022, starting with Cajun bluesman Tab Benoit. But if things don't change, it may not happen. World records may not happen. The worst case is that we will not be able to reopen um, if, if the um, infection level won't continue to diminish. The hope is with the vaccine that the, uh, this, uh, the COVID will go away. Um, and that's, that's what makes, makes um, uh, in-person gatherings possible. World Records regular David Coffey says Evans has made contributions to Bakersfield that go beyond providing it with music. Pat Evans is a great unsung hero of Bakersfield. Um, he's contributed to this community in ways that he'll never reveal, and, uh, but people that know him will sing his praises. Is World Records a treasure Bakersfield will continue to enjoy? Time and medical science hold the answer. Pat Evans has been through some challenges. The death of his founding partner at World Records, the death of the vinyl record, the ascent of the CD, the rebirth of the vinyl record, and then all the challenges that every small business goes through. But now comes COVID-19. Could that be the challenge that finally does him in? Not if Pat Evans can help it. Not that he has complete say over it. At World Records, Robert Price, 17 News.